The story of plant domestication is written not just in ancient fields, but in DNA. Today, scientists can trace the genetic footprints of crops across continents, revealing surprising origins hidden beneath layers of time. Wheat, long considered a gift of the Fertile Crescent, carries DNA markers that connect it to early experiments in wild grass harvesting some 10,000 years ago. Rice, the staple of billions, shows not one birthplace, but two. Genetic analyses reveal separate domestication events in the Yangtze Basin of China and the Ganges Plains of India, each leaving distinct signatures and modern varieties. Mace tells another tale, its DNA tracing back to the valleys of southern Mexico, where humble Tiacinti grasses were slowly reshaped into the golden ears we recognize today. Potatoes, often linked only with the Andes, carry genetic signals of ancient human trade. As their DNA reveals journeys to Central America before the Spanish ever arrived, what astonishes researchers is how the genomes of these plants preserve the fingerprints of migration, adaptation, and selective breeding by countless hands across millennia. At. Bananas tell a story of island hopping. With genetic clues showing their movement from Southeast Asia into Africa, where hybrid varieties emerged, grapes reveal networks of trade in the Mediterranean, their DNA strands echoing the spread of winemaking cultures. By sequencing ancient seeds, charred grains, and desiccated tubers, scientists can reconstruct a botanical map of human history, one that shows not isolation, but constant exchange. These findings demonstrate that the foods we eat every day are not local traditions, but global inheritances, shaped by shared knowledge and ancient curiosity. DNA reveals that domestication was never a single event, but a tapestry woven by farmers, foragers and travelers whose choices continue to nourish humanity today.